Hello and welcome to another Audio Epics podcast. Hello. I'm Domin. And I'm still Elin. Yes, you were Elin last time too. So that hasn't changed. So we're back for another um, Dilemmas episode because, you know, we think those are kind of fun. And so we wrote up 10 Dilemmas for each other again. And we re- we haven't seen each other's questions yet. So I've got my list here on paper, and Aline's got hers, and we're going to, you swap. know, swap now and <laughs> ask each other, uh, read, read the questions that the other person has written for us. Nice. Okay, so who starts? Ladies first, so you start. Oh, yeah, okay. That, I see what you did there. You made a joke. <laughs> but the joke's on you, because if if you want to mock me by implying that I'm a woman, then you're implying that being a woman is not as good as being a man, so ha ha. <laughs> okay, <laughs> <laughs> just read the damn question. Yeah, okay. Um, so, <clears throat> the first question. Question one. Your entertainment is limited by the government as follows. A. You are able to watch only original Flemish movies for the rest of your life. Or B. You are only allowed to read dystopian YA novels in German for the rest of your life. Okay. Uh, so, uh, do I get to still watch other movies? or No. So, I only get to read yeah. dystopian, yeah. Read, read novels. So. Dystopian YA in yeah. German. Yeah. Um, okay. Or... Watch, yeah, B. I don't have to think about that. <laughs> you knew I, I was going to yeah, say B. Yeah, I thought you'd say that. <laughs> I mean, I mean uh, to our listeners, you probably don't know what Flemish movies are like, but I just, I don't like them on the I, whole. I hear in Russia they use them in interrogations, so. Well, I, and um, I mean, um, reading novels in German would be a good way to, you know, practice my German. I've tried that in the past a few times. And dystopian YA, okay, it's it's not my favorite genre, but it's okay. So um, so yeah, I would take B. Okay, I'll read your question now. <laughs> okay, um, a giant ape falls in love with you and wants to go on a date on the roof of the Empire State Building, or you turn into a mermaid without a voice. So the giant ape falls in love with me and wants to go on a date on the on the roof of the Empire State Building. I I cannot refuse to go on a date, right? I have well, to go on a date. Well, considering the ape can just pick you up, yeah. literally pick you up and kind of snap my yeah. my neck. Okay, um, I, I'd love to be a mermaid, but I'd miss my voice. But yeah, if, if I turn into a mermaid, I I guess I won't need my voice because you know. It's kind of hard to talk underwater. Yeah. But I'd miss my family. It's a tough one, isn't it? (laughs) Yeah. I do love swimming underwater, so I guess I would... I would want to be a mermaid. So you'd rather become a mermaid for the rest of your life than go on one date with King Kong? It's just a date. I mean, he's he's not expecting anything. (laughs) But if he leaves me alone after that... But he will get shot down by airplanes. Ah. Uh, if well, you go with him. Oh, well, that's not too bad, because, you know, if I if I have my family, then I would really like to return to them, so... Yeah. Okay, then I'll, I'll, I'll pick the date, then. It's gonna be... Yeah, it's gonna be an so, interesting oh, day. But, and then it, oh, but then he's going to die. Yeah, but will oh, there be so sushi? Sad. Yeah, I guess there will be sushi. Yeah. Well, then, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll pick the date. Your question two for me. A. You can voice the trailer for a new original James Cameron movie. Or B. You play a minor part in a new Terrence Malick movie. In your underwear. Okay, that's an interesting twist. Hmm. So the trailer. So, like, I get to say... In a world. Yeah, yeah definitely. Okay. You can say in a world. Okay. Or I get to play a small part in my underwear in, in a Terrence Malick movie. 
you know, um, I, I've enjoyed Terrence Malick's movies so far, um, the, the ones that I've seen. Yeah. But um, I don't think, you know, acting in my underwear is really like my kind of thing. So I think I'm going to go for the, the voice, the voice, especially since I really miss those old fashioned trailers where you get to have a voice that it says in a world, you know, they don't do that anymore, do they? No, they don't. These so, days, yeah, it's... you get to do that for the new uh, yeah. James Cameron movie. And so that's probably right. going to be Avatar 2. So I get to say Avatar 2, Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> Turuk Makto. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, your turn. Okay, so you have to talk with the voice of Darth Vader, including the breathing, all the time. Even when you're ordering food in a restaurant or proposing a toast at a wedding. Or you keep your own voice. But you can only say quotes from big budget blockbuster movies. Oh, I picked the second one. <laughs> that is so yeah. cool. I mean, we practically al already do this. <laughs> but in, in every situation, so like even when you order food or... Yeah, I guess I have to watch a lot of movies then. <laughs> okay. I think people will find me... Utterly creepy if I talk like Darth Vader all the time. Yeah, probably, yeah. You get the exact same voice. Yeah. I just think it would be really funny if you would uh, go to the bakery and say, <laughs> Three croissants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and in this world, they would probably lock me up in a hospital and... <laughs> And stick all kinds of needles inside of me. So no, I would I would talk in blockbuster movie quotes. Okay, what are some famous movie quotes? I'm the king of the world. Woo! Let's do a separate episode on that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, your uh, next question for me. You get paid to test a brand new RPG by Larian Studios. I get paid. You get paid, yeah. Okay. Or you get paid to write and direct an, Im an, an imaginative school play for local enthusiastic toddlers. Oh, that's so cute. No, um, ah, to be honest, A is more tempting, but B seems more noble and, <laughs> and, you know, like the better choice. But I'm a bit afraid of, you know, all those toddlers. I know what toddlers are like. You know. Running noses. Yeah, and, and ju ju they just don't listen. Have so I have to direct them. All the time. If you have to direct toddlers in a, in a play, I think that's extremely difficult. Probably. They'll be all over you. Yeah. Um, but they'll be grateful and, and enthusiastic. And they'll yeah. be like, sir, can I play the dragon? No, okay, I'll do that. <laughs> I'll do it. Fine. <laughs> I can't say no to, to those cute little things <laughs> if if ronan will play one of the parts oh yeah de then definitely <laughs> i thought as much <laughs> okay next question you get your very own ikran ikran is not horse but you have to do the whole uh Tsahelo business with it <laughs> okay including you know catching it and yeah, yeah, yeah. Like in the movie Avatar. Okay. <laughs> or you can do magic, but only at the level of Ron in the first Harry Potter. Including, you know, the mistakes that he makes. Which is like, what, he can somewhat make a feather float? <laughs> Was that about yeah, it? I, in the first know. movie? Didn't he do anything else? I don't know, he played a cool game of chess, but that really didn't involve... Him using any magic skills, so... I don't know. Ah, I want to do the whole Sahelo business. I knew it. <laughs> what? It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. You got to catch... But it's very dangerous. You have to climb up those tall mountains and... Yeah? Yeah, okay. Sounds more exciting, I guess. Okay. Um, I'm going to pause for a, a commercial break now um, and say that I'm drinking tea. And it's, it's yogi tea again, and you know what that means? It means there's wisdom on it. Oh, I want to know yogi it's, tea. It's chai tea, by the way. Um, and the wisdom on my, on my tea label says, 
a relaxed mind is a creative mind. Oh, wow. Oh, that's actually quite yeah, fitting. It is. I've and what are you drinking? I've got a puka chai tea, so there's no wisdom on it. But I'll invent one. Um, the, f the greatest feeling you'll ever know is compassion. <laughs> or something like that. That sounds exactly like one of those labels. Yeah. Compassion is nice, love is good. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> something lame and so it doesn't even need to be true, it just <laughs> needs to sound kind of wisdomy. By the way, it, it, does my tea have curcuma in it? Yes, I thought as well. Yeah, I seem to be tasting that. Okay. So, <clears throat> next question. Your turn? Yeah. I think so, yes. So your your next question for me is the following. From now on, the government's heart what is it? The government's always <laughs> telling me what to do. I get enough of that in real life. <laughs> okay, so from now on the government obliges you to exclusively watch movies A in Korean without subtitles or in English starring Adam Sandler. Um okay. <clears throat> so does that mean we see, like, for example, Braveheart, but then with Adam Sandler instead of Mel Gibson? <laughs> or, uh, <laughs> or just, you know, actual Adam Sandler movies? Yeah, I was thinking only Adam Sandler movies. Nothing okay. else. Okay. Or any movie just in Korean. But I like The Wedding Singer. <laughs> but watching it again and again and again... Uh, so it would boil down to uh, only watching one movie then for the rest of your life. <laughs> maybe, well, no, maybe, the, there are some of some of the other ones are kind of okay, uh, but maybe, some really bad ones. Maybe too. it's a good idea to say you can um, you can watch all movies as long as Adam Sandler uh, stars in them. <laughs> okay, so only Adam Sandler movies. Yeah, Braveheart with Adam Sandler. Oh, okay, so you get to see Braveheart with Adam Sandler. Yeah. And Lord sure. of the Rings with Adam Sandler? And does Adam Sandler play just like Frodo or does he play all the parts? I'd say he, have to, he has to play a main part. A main part. The, the leading, he's the leading lady, uh, mm. the leading man. <laughs> Adam Sandler as, as a <clears throat> the leading man. So okay. he would probably be, be Frodo then. Yeah, okay. I just came by to drop this ring in the <laughs> volcano. <laughs> Um, or Korean movies. I don't know much about Korean movies. No, just just um, all movies dubbed in Korean without subtitles. So it's you either Lord of the Rings with Lord Adam Sandler <laughs> as Frodo or yeah. Lord of the Rings in Korean. Yeah, so you can still enjoy the stunning visual, but it's, it's always going to be in Korean. Uh, I think I'm going to go for the Korean then. Yeah? I just, I'm trying to imagine... <laughs> Frodo with Adam Sandler's face and it would just take me out of the the whole experience. Yeah, I have nothing against Adam Sandler, but I think <laughs> if he would be in in every movie, <laughs> I'd probably kind of get tired of him after a while. <laughs> yeah, and in some movies, you know, you know, like I don't know, like I can't really see him in something like uh, I don't know, Silence of the Lambs. Uh, I don't know, give the guy a chance. You could play a. But Adam you're asking Sandler. for more than a chance. You're asking for all Adam Sandler all the time. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> he'd be able to show his worth. <laughs> yes. A chance for <laughs> Sam <laughs> Adam Sandler, <laughs> Captain of Gondor, to show his quality. <laughs> uh, what about movies with a female lead, like Erin Brockovich with Adam Sandler? Yeah. Adam Brockovich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. It sounds interesting. I'll take that. <laughs> you don't have to change your mind. Your turn. Okay. Um, you get a new job, but it turns out your life has become an MMO, and your job now consists of collecting 10 wolf skins every day. <laughs> or... Everything remains the same, but every time you meet someone in a hallway, you have to scream, You shall not pass! <laughs> okay. <laughs> that would be so hilarious. Oh. <laughs> what? 
I love my job. It doesn't pay a lot, but I don't want I don't want my life to become an MMO. <laughs> Will, will all the people I meet be NPCs as well? Uh, no, 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 no. It's just your job. So your your life outside of that so is the same. Eight hours. It's just a day. eight eight hours of collecting <laughs> collecting ten wolf skins. And what do I have to do for that? I have to actually. Kill you have wolves? to go to a zone where there are a bunch of wolves or other monsters, and then actually kill them with a spear or a bows and arrows, and then yeah, and then their and, skin, and then collect yeah, and skin skin them alive. <clears throat> Yeah, but you know, it's just like um, once you kill them, you you just have to stand next to them and and right click them, and then you get the skin. Oh, it's that simple. Yeah. Oh. I think I'm gonna go with the Gandalf thing, <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, That would be really interesting. To... I mean, you're an entrepreneur, so what if you if you go to to uh, another company to to meet a new client? <laughs> Well, and, and you you have to go down a hallway. No, no. Actually, I, I'm kind of looking forward to um, to yelling at people in the hallways. Yeah. And there are worse things to yell at people, so <clears throat> it's okay, right? Yeah, th there are worse things to be yelling <laughs> at people. Yeah. It would be cool if you if you were working in in a school or a university, and and it's the exam period, and students pass by in the hallway, and you say, "You will not pass." <laughs> <laughs> yeah and then i should become a teacher again yeah it's gonna be a lot of fun all these shivering students having nightmares about my oral exams <laughs> exactly okay uh my next question uh, well your next question for me is which would you rather watch avatar as a slow-paced eight episode Dramatic HBO series with government conspiracies, environmental challenges, and corporate conflicts. Hmm, so Avatar meets sort of X-Files. True Detective, kind of. True Detective? Shit. Yeah. Okay, that sounds like a very interesting, completely new thing. Or Titanic, as a flashy eight-season, G-rated, colorful, funny animation series. I mean, Titanic is about one event. It's a boat that sinks. The end. Yeah, but it takes eight seasons in this series. Whereas with Avatar, I get the feeling that you could, you know, you could keep on expanding on that, and and there's a whole lot more background to it. You know, like, like you say, corporate conflicts. You know, like with the the unobtainium and yeah, it's it's interesting, but it's I think there's be... a lot more stuff, and, and it's eight episodes. But it's gonna be a dramatic HBO series, so you have to deal with all the um, typical HBO stuff. A lot of yeah. unnecessary sex scenes and very serious philosophical conversations, uh, stuff like that. Is Matthew McConaughey in it? If you like, yeah, I'll bring him in. I don't know. It sounds it sounds more interesting, at least. Um, I, I I mean, it's Titanic. Jake Sully. Jake Sully. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, um, I think actually it, it, it sounds like something that actually has potential for some interesting <laughs> stories. Whereas Titanic, as a funny animation series, that's kind of disrespectful for towards the all the victims of yeah. that yeah. tragic yeah. event. But it, <clears throat> and eight, eight seasons, seasons, are you kidding me? They're probably going to wait for the last hour of the final episode. To yeah, no, to I already went through that with Smallville, where you have to <laughs> wait ten seasons to see Superman in his outfit for five seconds. No, I'm done with I'm not doing that anymore. I'm going for the for um, Matthew McConaughey as Jake Sully. <laughs> okay. Maybe it has Woody Har Harrelson as uh, Nateri. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to see that. <laughs> Okay, next question for you. Okay. Whenever you <laughs> whenever you enter a room, the Imperial March starts playing out of nowhere. And and everyone gets up and salutes you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Or <laughs> <laughs> or 
your farts sound like Gabriel's oboe from the mission. <laughs> <laughs> Can I pick both? <laughs> no, you have to choose. Because <laughs> it's both awesome. Do other people know my fart? <laughs> well, whenever you fart, they will go. <laughs> yeah, but what if they think it's something else, like my my smartphone or something? <laughs> <laughs> maybe I'll maybe I'll pick the Imperial March because I really love Gabriel's oboe and I don't I really don't want people to <laughs> I don't want people to to think of bad smells whenever they hear Gabriel's oboe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, good answer. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you go now. <laughs> my, my turn. <laughs> Question six. From now on, you can only watch Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings adaptation with one of the following adjustments. Oh no, this doesn't involve Adam <laughs> Sandler, I hope. <laughs> a. Gandalf has a talking bird that constantly comments on what other characters are wearing. <laughs> uh, or B. Samwise has a giant crush on every animal he encounters. <laughs> so wait, Shelob is an animal. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hmm. Yeah. Uh, maybe he breaks her heart. Uh, no, okay. Um, but everything that happens in the wait, movie will still be Sam the same. Sam kind of has a crush on, on the pony, on Bill the pony. Yeah, so he'll have a crush on all the ponies now. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> and he'll still kill Sheila, but he'll probably have heartaches doing yeah. that. It's just the same story. It's just every any every animal he encounters, he falls in love with. Okay, or Gandalf has a talking bird that constantly comes. Um, mm, mm, talking bird. So, so the so when the Fellowship leaves Rivendell, the bird says says <laughs> says to Aragorn like. Is that what you're gonna wear? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is that what you're gonna wear? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, like constantly. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever he encounters a new character. Mm. Mm. That outfit really doesn't fit here, you know? Also, when he meets Denethor and, <laughs> and Theoden. <laughs> and yeah. Saruman. Are you still wearing your pajamas, old man? <laughs> Those robes are so last year. <laughs> Actually, that sounds kind of fun. Um, I'll take that. You could still skip those parts in the movie. No, I, I like it. Well, if Sam constantly has his eyes on, on the animals <laughs> around him, that might probably affect the movie. I mean, there are animals all the time, so... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm, no, I, I think... And then Frodo says, eyes on the mission, Sam. No, I, I'm going to go with... Um, with uh, the birds. Okay, um, question six. We're over halfway now. You become an anime character. Your hair turns purple and is now five feet tall. Your eyes are the size of tea saucers <laughs> and you can effortlessly wield a sword bigger than yourself. Or you get an army of angry garden gnomes who will fight to the death for you. B. Oh, well, that that was easy. Yeah, I want those garden gnomes. I don't want to look like a weird anime character. Who but wants y that? you can jump really high and have all the, those anime. Yeah, but I look weird. Yeah, I guess. So. Looks are everything these days. <laughs> yeah, but people will still think you're weird if you have a bunch of garden gnomes <laughs> following you around. I'll just pretend I don't know them. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> are, are these your garden gnomes? Because, yeah, they keep following me. Hey, by the way, they will fight to the death for me. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Yeah, It's kind of cool. Okay, good answer. Next question for me. Become a famous movie director known for... A. The most inspiring and artistic pillow fight seen in the century. Hmm. An inspiring artistic pillow fight scene. <laughs> I, I kind of want to see that. Uh. <laughs> or B, 
the funniest but most disgusting dinner party scene in history. Hmm. Does it involve Hannibal Lecter? Uh, you can you can decide. It's your scene. Yeah, sort of. I'm I'm imagining a, a mix between uh, Hannibal Lecter and and the scene from Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, where they eat <laughs> monkey brains. Well, it can also be lettuce. I don't like green food. <laughs> I take B. I mean, the pillow fight scene. I can sort of see the the sort of all the little feathers floating around and. Yeah, sort of some slow-mo. Slow motion, 3D, yada yada. But, you know. 48 frames per second feathers. <laughs> <laughs> but, no. Uh, B. I'm going to go with B. I just feel more like B today. Yeah, I'm curious about that scene, actually. Yeah, I mean, if it really makes people laugh. Uh... Sure. Okay. Um, seven. You become rich and famous by playing the role of Julia Roberts in a biographical movie about her life, or you get personal in-depth writing advice from Suzanne Collins spending two weeks at her house. That's kind of, yeah, that's interesting dilemma. I think that would be nice. I mean, I, I admire Suzanne Collins. I, I don't want to write exactly like her, but because that would be lame of me. But, um, yeah, I just, I'd like to get to know her and do a picnic or two. You get to become besties. <laughs> oh, besties, right. <laughs> well, uh, I'd love to. Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to be Susan Collins' bestie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can, can we have sy synchronized menses as well? <laughs> if you, if you stay a bit longer at her house, then maybe that will happen automatically. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely be. <laughs> okay. Wow. Hmm. I wonder if Susan Collins is listening to this episode. <laughs> uh, probably not. <laughs> um, question eight. From now on, you are restricted to only read A. Pages with odd numbers in books. Oh man, that's frustrating. <laughs> or paragraphs that start with an E in books. <laughs> Yeah, Wait. Your, your book experience is never going to be the same. Uh, yeah, uh, I think if if I read only the odd pages, then I'll get a bit more of an idea of what the story is about. Yeah, but it'll be, it'll be more frustrating because it will hack up sentences. Yeah, okay, but I mean, paragraphs that start with an E, how many are there? Not that many. I, I, I mean, if you have a main character whose name starts with an E. Maybe you're going to read some pretty awesome paragraphs in your life. <laughs> Yeah, maybe I'll, I'll have to write a book myself where every paragraph starts with an E. Maybe something like, eventually they continue. <laughs> Even though the weather was nice, blah, blah, blah. And the main character is called... Eve. Hmm? Eve. <laughs> yeah, Eve. Every, everyone's name starts with an E. So you, can, you, you would only um, read your own novels then? <laughs> <laughs> from that well, point. that way I get to at least read something from start to finish. Or odd numbers you can pick. Or I can take a book, um, turn it into a PDF, and yeah, you can, you make ev all the even pages empty and <laughs> no. put all the story on the odd pages. You cannot mess with, <laughs> with existing books. Uh, yeah, I, I think I'm still going to go with uh, the odd pages, because then at least I get a bit more of an idea of what's going on. Yeah, you get to read half novels. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I get to finish books quicker then. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> yeah. true. Your turn. Okay. You live the life of a moisture farmer on Tatooine, or you get to be the captain of a starship that goes on a trip to the planet of the aliens from the alien movies. Ooh. <coughs> hmm. Am I a respected moisture farm farmer? You're the best. And mm. I, uh, I don't get whipped or something. No, I mean it's like you know, like you saw in Star Wars in the beginning mm. with, with his uncle and aunt. Very boring life it seems, but well, while they, you're out in in in, in the desert, it's, they got killed. Yeah, you don't get killed. It, you know, mm. that's your life. It's just. You live on a on a farmstead in the deserts, 
and you get to see some Jawas now and then and uh, some yeah. robots, but that's it. That's your life. Sure. <laughs> sure. Sounds yeah. Great. <laughs> yeah, I'll be a farmer. I don't mind. Sometimes you have to fight off the Tuscan Raiders. That's exciting. I respect farmers. I'll probably have to get used to the climate, though, because I, I don't do well with heat. Uh, yeah, okay. <coughs> well, I don't want to go to the planet of the, the aliens from the alien movies. No, then you get probably get killed in a yeah. pretty gruesome way. So, yeah, I'd go for the moisture farmer, too. I don't want some alien to uh, put some fertile eggs in my stomach or something. Um, yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. I didn't really think it through. Uh, <laughs> that's probably the only answer you can give. Okay, next question for me. Write and direct a remake of Star Wars: The Halloween Version, hmm. in which Padme is a vampire, Anakin a werewolf, Palpatine is a dark overlord. He already is a dark overlord. Yeah, so that so it doesn't change. <laughs> no, no Chewbacca change. is a yeti, so. He just turns white, I suppose. And Jar Jar is a flesh-eating sea monster. Hmm. Well, I, I like that. It's kind of a cool idea. Or B, Harry Potter, the legal version, in which all characters are either lawyers or judges. But they do wear kind of those robes. Like they kind of have a, 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 a lawyery look to them. Uh, no, I'm, I'm going to go for the Halloween Star Wars. I thought you would. No, that, that 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 sounds cool, and I can sort of imagine the the main theme, uh, the main th Star Wars theme being played on, on a theremin, with uh, with some harpsichord in the background. <laughs> yeah, that would be cool. <laughs> okay, good choice. Yeah. Um. So nine. When you have to go shopping, you can immediately cut to the next scene instead, or you wake up every morning fully rested and full of energy. That's a tough one. I like both. Because I really don't like going shopping for clothes or anything, so... Including one. shopping for food. Oh, really? Oh, that's too cool. You just you take your list, you skip to the next scene, and you're home. Yeah. And and did some midget um, mysteriously put all the groceries in the cupboards and stuff? No, no, it's just like um, it happened. You went to the shop, etc. But you, we just skipped that part, you know, like in a movie. Yeah, but you also skip the part when you, well, you have to um, take your bags and then put all the stuff in the, in the cupboards. Um, sure, because it's it's not... It's not interesting for the scene either, so we, we skip that too. Or a nice full night's rest, no interruptions, no crying babies, oh. no snoring husbands. Yeah, okay, okay. I want I want B. <laughs> it's it's too awesome. I mean it must sound yeah. realistic to a lot of people, but I think it's been years since I felt like that. It's like being a character in a game with a full energy bar. Yeah, exactly. Full stamina bar. And you also get the lover's comfort perk, of course. The non-snoring lover's comfort <laughs> perk. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's, sure. oh, that's, that's a given. That's so cool. Okay, um, last question for me. Last but not least, a short question. Question 10. You get to choose a new pet. A. E.T. or B. Gizmo. Oh, man. <laughs> Mm, I I don't really see E.T. as a pet. I mean, he's intelligent, right? Yeah. He's more like a friend than a Isn't pet. Isn't Gizmo somewhat intelligent as well? Yeah, yeah, that's true. He kind of, yeah, he is. But... But, you know, E.T. doesn't fit in the microwave. That's... No. It could be a downside. But the uh, thing is, I, I think Gizmo is super cute. And, and and he can sing and I, I I'd kind of like to have a gizmo, but I knowing me, you know, I'm probably gonna feed him after midnight sometime or get water on, on him or you know make some stupid mistake, you know. <laughs> and then the whole the whole trouble starts. Yeah, that's possible. Um, 
ET can fix you up if you do something stupid. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. It it seems like ET would be the smarter choice, but somehow I want to say Gizmo. He's he's very cuddly. Yeah, and he's much much more portable. Yeah, that's true. I can take him with me on the train when I go to work. Put him in my backpack. And uh, yeah, yeah, you could put ET in the basket of your your bicycle <laughs> if you had one. I don't have a bicycle, and certainly not one with a with a basket. Uh, our son wanted um when he when he got his first bicycle he he wanted to have a basket per se because he has a small ET that's yeah. from the means childhood and he wanted to put the ET in uh, in the basket <laughs> he doesn't he doesn't take out his bike without the ET yeah that's right and and now when he, whenever he's out on his little bike he's got ET <laughs> in front okay your last question my last question you get private access to an alternative dimension, which is exactly the same as our world, but there are no other people and you can take things from there to our world and the other way around, or you get the power to command all animals to do your will. So an alternative dimension, which is exactly the same as our world, but there are no other people and you can take things from there to our world and the other way around so I can hide things in the other dimension mm -hmm. and I can kind of take things from there for example when I when I break a plate I can <laughs> I can take one from the other dimension and then replace it that's a, a very <laughs> sort of low-key way to yeah I'm sure there are way cooler things to do yeah I, yeah I was thinking of bigger stuff than that but yeah so and it and it wouldn't be stealing, you know, if if you if you took something from someone's house and he didn't live there, it wouldn't be. Stealing. Yeah, it's not stealing because there's no one else yeah. there. Yeah. So all the stores are there, and everything yeah. in the stores is there. But wow! So I could actually steal the neighbor's better brand of of drinking water, and then and then replace it with my. <laughs> <less> <laughs> you are so unambitious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. No, no yachts or planes or anything. No, j just uh, drinking water and plates. How would I bring a yacht from another dimension? You can do that. You know, it's it's just like a magic formula or something. Oh, okay. So I, I don't have to be able to carry it. No, 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 no. I can just like drive a Porsche in the other dimension and then snap, it's there. Yep. Yeah, of course. I'll pick A. Why would I want to command all animals? That's that's cruel. They should be free to do whatever they please. You're just thinking of that Porsche. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. I think that's a good answer. Uh, it makes sense. And you can, you know, you can just go to the other dimension and just go have fun there, you know? Uh, do crazy stuff. Yeah, and then be on a diet in this dimension and then just stuff my face in the other one. <laughs> And you would never know it. I could do some pretty awesome stuff there. We could play pretty much any game we want, watch any movie we want, read any book we want. Yeah, that's true. And, and you could take me along. Oh, can I do that? Let's just say you can. Okay, I can. I can pick one person to. Yeah, and, to and we can go on holiday and stuff. Sounds like a lot of fun. Without the kids, no. Nah. Oh, you can take them along too. You can take along <laughs> whoever you want. So we can actually go on a holiday in the other dimension and then leave everyone else behind. Yeah, wow. The ultimate quiet holiday. Wow. No masks. Nope. No restrictions. No quarantines. Just. I want to. I want to leave right now. <laughs> yeah. When are we leaving? <laughs> So much better than commanding animals, you're right. Yeah, leave other people to command. Them. Yeah, some of my some of my, my my dilemmas aren't dilemmas at all. They're like you know. Yeah, this one is very straightforward. You're right. Okay. Um so I, I was through our list actually. We've done them all. I had fun. These yeah. were fun questions. Me too. You know, next time perhaps we'll do another uh, more straightforward episode or will we do more questions? What do you think? 
I don't know if you uh, have any ideas for new questions, quarantine questions or uh, lockdown dilemmas, let us know. And um, yeah, if, if you have an answer to the questions or if you have a different opinion, feel free to uh, to share it. It could be interesting. And of course, we'll be uh, doing more storytelling episodes as well. And we are really planning to release another story soon. Yeah, actually, we're we're, um, we're, st- we're starting to you know get moving again uh, with uh, the storytelling stuff. So because it's been very quiet uh, for the the past, uh, you know, throughout the whole COVID stuff, it's been really um, <clears throat> difficult for us to be creative. But um, we're finding our footing again, and we feel like you know it's it's finally starting to move along again. And we also got a new accountant who is encouraging us to make the Patreon move. So we'll probably have that page up this year. Yeah. Because we've had it for a couple of years, actually. It just hasn't been launched yet. Yeah, it's been around, but we we didn't have the guts to actually yeah, launch because it. because we're just chickens. Chicken, you little Cheep. chicken. <laughs> chicken. <laughs> but um, by the way, we also have a Discord server. Which, you know, um, is, is kind of quiet right now, but um, it would be nice uh, to get more people on there. Uh, there are some people, uh, <laughs> so you won't, you won't be alone, but um, it would be nice to get a bit more activity on there. So you're all very welcome. So if you, if you want to join us, uh, we'll, we'll put the, the link in the, in the description. Yeah. If you uh, want to be there in our uh, Discord desert with that one tumbleweed passing all the time, feel free to lighten things up. Famous composer Peter van Riet is on there, um, and some of our listeners, yeah. as are we both. Um, it was fun talking to you again. And-